Moan making itself is a uh, is a true art and craft and, mm -hmm. and this sort of thing. Yeah, Josh was explaining a little bit about the chemistry involved, which is kind of the science, the flavors and how you mix them and how long you let things go. That's where the real art comes in. Well, any biochemist can make alcohol. Right. It takes someone with a certain knack to make mm -hmm. a truly good wine. Right. Yeah. Well, if, apparently uh, you have a knack. Well, my, myself and those who help me. And mm -hmm. So if somebody's interested in wine, uh, what, what can they get here? Well, you can get everything from a dry reds, our dry whites, our chardonnay, and the sweeter whites, the berry wines, all the way into our port, which is considered a dessert wine. Okay. So you got a little something for everybody. Exactly. Carrie Brown from Beans Creek Winery is nice enough to share two of her special recipes with us today. Carrie, thanks for having us. You're welcome. And what are we making? Uh, we're going to make Becky Brown's champagne fruit salad. Mm, sounds and good. And some um, golden muscat candy sweet potato. Ooh, that'll be great for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're going to make a fruit salad, obviously we need fruit. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to use today? We're going to use strawberries, pineapple, mandarin oranges, grapes, and pears. Thank okay. You Put some mandarin oranges in there. Mm -hmm. So cut fruit, mix it up, and... And Hit it with a little champagne. Yeah, so now's the fun part. <laughs> I notice she's pointing it at me. <laughs> so right. you just put as much as you want. Okay. Becky's champagne fruit salad. Mm -hmm. Ready to serve. Another great thing about wine, not only do you drink it, it's very versatile, you can cook with it. Mm -hmm. And this is one of your special recipes that you came up with. Mm -hmm. It is. And uh, what are we making? We're going to make golden muscat candied sweet potatoes. Golden muscat. Mm -hmm. And the golden muscat is the wine. Okay. So it's not the furry rodent lives in the river. Muskrat, no. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it sounds great. So mm -hmm. what do we do? Um, well, we peel and slice sweet potatoes and then steam them. All right. And then we'll layer those in a baking dish mm -hmm. with maple syrup, um, paprika and salt, okay. and lots of butter. Lots of butter. Mm -hmm. And we'll just pour the wine right over it. All right. And then stick it in the oven. Wow. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's do it. Okay. So, Tell first thing? Peel. Peel the sweet potatoes. Uh -huh. All right. She gave me the rookie sweet potato peeler. <laughs> And so you want three or four relatively large? Yeah, sweet about potatoes? three and a half to four pounds or okay. so. Once you peel the potatoes, we need to slice them uh, about a quarter of an inch. About thick. a quarter inch thick. Mm -hmm. All right. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. Is that too thin? Too thick. That's good. Good. All right. So the the big deal is just to make sure they're relatively uniform so they cook the same speed, right? Right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, now they go into the steamer. In the steamer, mm -hmm. okay. And they'll steam for about 10 to 15 minutes 10 until to 15 they're tender. Minutes. All right, mm -hmm. let's go. Okay. So just dump them all in there? Just dump them all in. All right, easy enough. Give them a little spa treatment for what, about <laughs> 10 or 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. All right. And just, we'll just take a fork and see if they're done. Let them cook until they're tender all the all way right. through. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. There you go. And I think they're good. Nice and tender. Mm -hmm. All right. So the uh, sweet potatoes have been steamed. They took a little longer because we put a whole bunch in there. Mm -hmm. So it was mm, 15, 18 minutes. They're mm -hmm. fork tender. Mm -hmm. And now? Now we butter a 13 by 9 inch pan. Mm -hmm. And we'll layer the sweet potatoes in the bottom. And we'll add our maple syrup and paprika and salt. All right. Let's go. OK. So, I don't know how you like to butter. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to butter this pan? Do you want me to butter it doesn't this matter pan? to me. I am here but to serve. Okay, well, here's your glove. Oh, okay. <laughs> the and fancy butter. glove. All right. So, just smear it around the bottom. Mm -hmm. And up on the sides. And up on the sides. Okay. Up. And that's to keep it from sticking. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job. Oh, well, thank you. Am I hired? <laughs> well, to be the butter boy? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> All 
All right, is that enough? That's great. All right. Take that, throw it in the trash. Okay, now <clears throat> we just do an even layer of the sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. And try to keep them relatively even, right. evenly spaced. So they don't have to be perfect, you just don't want a no. big clump. Right. Because you want the seasoning to get on pretty much every potato. Ah, so. yes. Okay, now. All right, looking good. More butter. More butter, <laughs> uh -huh. all right. I'll let you do that with and, the... Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, and you want to use about a teaspoon or so of butter for each layer. All right. Um, and if you use colder butter, then you can just cut it up into uh, little squares mm -hmm. and put it on there and let it melt, and it'll be just fine. Right. Well, that's going back in the oven anyway, so yeah. it'll all cook together. Mm-hmm. And then sprinkle with salt. Mm hmm And paprika. That'll give it a nice color. Mm -hmm. And then go to the next layer. All right, maple syrup or no? Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, three to four tablespoons of maple syrup per okay. layer. So if you like it a little less sweet, you can use less. If you want to use right. more, then you might go into a sugar coma, but it'll be okay. <laughs> and you're using the real maple syrup. Right. And this is grade A. I prefer to use grade B because it's got more vitamin and middle, mineral content. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. So one layer is done. All right. Okay. And then just repeat. Mm-hmm. And there should be about three to four layers. Three to four layers. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Do you want to turn? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Little paprika. Now, is this regular paprika, smoked paprika? It's regular. Okay. The smoked would give it more of a bacony taste. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of going the wrong direction. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Unless you want, you know, sweet and bacony maple, which could be good. Yeah. It could be really good. Bacon's good. <laughs> I like bacon. <laughs> hey, I'll need the Oop. other bottle. Beautiful. Wow, that's gonna be really good. Once that syrup cooks in with the butter and the potatoes, mmm. Mm -hmm. And now, the right. uh, wine. We'll get Can't forget the golden muscat, mm -hmm. which is not a musket <laughs> or a rodent. Right. It's a kind of grape. <laughs> and we'll use about a half a cup. About a half a cup. And then you just pour it evenly over everything. And then we'll cover it and stick it in the oven. Okay, cover it with foil, mm -hmm. stick it in the oven. What's the oven temperature? Uh, 350. 350 for? Mm -hmm. uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes, all mm -hmm. right. So they've been in the oven about 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and now they're ready? They're ready to mash up. Mash up, all right, let's do it. Okay. So. Once the steam doesn't get mm -hmm. you when you open them. Mmm, that smells really good. <laughs> and you can mash it with a spoon or potato masher. Or a potato whichever. masher. Mm -hmm. And oh, <laughs> here, let me hold the, hold the end here. Or you can use the spoon. Yeah, which is good too. <laughs> and why are you doing that? Uh, just to mix the wine and the maple syrup that hasn't been cooked down into the potatoes. Okay. Uh, now, most of the alcohol has been cooked out of the wine right. since it's been in there for so long. Mm -hmm. um, but the residual stuff can get okay. mashed up really well. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Really mix those flavors in. Mm -hmm. And then if you mm -hmm. let it set up for just a few minutes and let it soak in, uh -huh. then the most of those juices will be absorbed and you can serve it. Great. After that. So there you go. And that's golden muscat 
sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, try this at your next holiday event or mm -hmm. just for fun because it smells really good. <laughs> and if somebody wants to get in touch, stop by the winery. How do they get a hold of you guys? Uh, well, our website is uh, beanscreekwinery.com. And, um, all one word? Yeah, all one word. Beans Creek Winery. Mm -hmm. um, we're also at, we have a, an online blog. Oh, at, neat. Uh, mm -hmm. Beanscreekwine.blogspot.com. Okay. And you guys are open? Uh, every day. Every week. day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Monday through Thursday, we're open until from 10 till 6. Mm -hmm. uh, Friday and Saturday, 10 till 7. And Sunday, 1 to 5. 1 to 5. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, if you've got a great recipe you'd like to share with us or a really neat spot we should check out, Check us out on our website. It's yourplatesormine.net. Don't forget to send us an email. And who knows, we may come cook with you or have your favorite spot on the show. Once again, Carrie, thank you so much for having us mm -hmm. and sharing your wonderful yeah. recipes and this great wine. Another great thing about wine, not only can you drink it, it's very versatile and we can cook with it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make one of your personal recipes. Starting over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a delicate balance between being hyper and having a real upset stomach with the coffee thing. <laughs> I'm still kind of a rookie at the coffee, so I get that. What do you call a nosy pepper? I don't know. How would they know business? <laughs> <laughs> so we decided that I'm not going to say thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. We're at Thanks for joining us, we're at Thanks for joining us, we're here at Why is it always this part that fills up the blooper reel?